Hey there, welcome to a new episode of Tester Tech. And today I will show you a very fast way and how to create automated tests using Python, Playwright and CodeGen. And I will also touch on the automated testing approach and also show you how to set up maintainable test automation scripts using the page object model. If you're interested in that, stick around and without further ado, let's dig into the video. Like mentioned in the introduction, we're going to automate using Playwright, Cogen and Python. Before we start though, a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. So let's get into it. About the setup, visit playwright dev slash python to deep link into the python docs. Click the getting started button. I'm going to assume you know how to launch a command line on your own machine. Make sure that python is installed first. In this video, I will be using Python 3.10 on Linux, which is my preferred development environment, but it should also work fine on Windows or Mac since Python runs on all these platforms. Let's follow along with the installation guide and do the pip install pytest playwright and give it some time to complete. That is done, let's move to the next step. And that is calling playwright install. And this will download the browsers. And that has also been done. And let's add the first test. So I'm making a directory for playwright tests. And cd into there. Making a file testmyapplication.py and I will open that in the VI editor. It's a blank file and I will copy and paste the test that has been displayed in the documentation into this file. After that write and close Vim. And as you can see because we are using the pytest runner you can easily trigger that test by running pytest from the directory. So let's do that. And pretty quickly the test completes. You see one test passed, but you don't see anything. So let's uh, run it headed the, and by default on Linux, it runs headless. So let's run it headed. And as you can see in the documentation, dash dash headed gives the, the browser window open. And let's uh, add that to the pytest argument. And now you see the browser while running the test. So that is done. So technically it, uh, it works. And now let's look at the code jam part. Let's open the documentation. A test generator running the code gen is playwright code gen and then the URL of a website. Let's do that. Let's do the playwright code gen and then Google. And that will launch a browser window as well as the Playwright Inspector. And that is the recorder. So let's uh, drag the recorder to the right and resize it a little bit. And then drag the browser window to the left. And you can uh, see the target language is now Python. And you can select Python Async. So let's uh, use that one. And click on the Accept button. And on the right you see that that uh, action is recorded as well. Let's just search for uh, put that cookie down now. Because, well, why not? Mm. Oh, these cookies! Put that cookie down! Now! And, yeah, this is being typed and you see it being recorded. And the search result is being displayed. And that's just uh, everything you click uh, will be recorded. For purpose of demonstration at this point, uh, I will later amend the script. So yeah, this is the, the basic recording functionality. And after that, what you need to do is copy this recording by pressing that icon there. 
And let's uh, put that in a new file. Yeah, let's open up a new window and open up Vim and create a new Python file. Uh, put the cookie down. Test.py. And let's add that whole script in there and save it. So then we have the, the script and we can close the recording. So let's just see what happens when we try to run the test. I see an error here. So the error is that the page is not defined. So you have some recording and it expects some page object to be defined. It's not there, but luckily for us, it's easily solvable. Let's search for the documentation page as you can see pages we have here the pages example for python and you also have the async example so just doing page equals await context new page so let's fire up the vim again and uh, let's make the amendment to the script all right so look for the line and uh, it's below it depends on context so let's put it below context page equals await and then context dot new page all right that should be enough uh, let's save and run it again and see if it works now Run it again, head it. Let's put PyTest in there. So, okay, now the script is running indeed, and you see it's being triggered. But uh, because it's, uh, it's a complex step, uh, I'm clicking on that uh, on the search result with lots of dynamic values, it will fail on that specific step, and you can look at the log. So, uh, if you look back, uh, and where your script uh, name is. So let's look at the log. So here, line 26 in run. It has some unique uh, identifier. So let's just uh, remove that. Uh, let's remove that line uh, from the from the script for now. I don't want to go into the details for now. And just uh, maybe also that below that, so it doesn't go to YouTube itself. Okay, so uh, remove some lines and uh, that should be sufficient for the script to run. Let's run it again and see if it works. Oh, and as you can see, it clicks through and that is the test done. But as you maybe can see, you have the, uh, the, uh, the message there, no test ran. And that is due to the fact that uh, the name is not test. It doesn't start with test from the, the method. So here you can see an example. So test homepage has playwright. And if you look at this one, it just says run. And that's the reason why it doesn't say it has a test. All right, so that's it for this part. Now we're confident in that we can create and execute a script. I promise you that we'll also discuss the approach. So now let's focus on the approach. Here you have the automationpractice.com website. It's a demo e-commerce website. I will split up testing of the site into two parts, a business value and user actions. And let's start discussing the business value first. About the business value, you will have conversations with maybe a product owner or a business analyst about how big the risk is if a certain functionality does not work on the site, how big of a business impact it has. So that will be uh, more of like the discussion you will have as a test analyst. So figuring out what is the business impact. 
But as a test automator, you will focus mainly on creating like the automated testing scripts. So creating a framework, making sure the keywords are, are there, making sure it runs smoothly each iteration and logging and reporting is arranged and stuff like that. So that's basically the split between the test automator and the test analyst. It's possible that they could be the same person, but don't underestimate the time it takes to set up proper test automation. It's really a team effort in the end, where also developers are involved. So you can really look at your team and see how you can compose the software testing as an integral part of the agile software delivery. One approach to set up a maintainable test automation solution is to incorporate page objects. So it's a page object model. You might be wondering what it is. Well, let me guide you through what it is. And I think the Selenium Dev website uh, presents it nicely. So I'm going to read an excerpt of that site. The page object is a design pattern, which has become popular in test automation for enhancing test maintenance and reducing code duplication. A page object is an object oriented class that serves as an interface to the page of your application on a test. The tests then use the methods of this page object class whenever they need to interact with the UI of that page. The benefit is that if the UI changes for the page, the tests themselves don't need to change. Only the code within the page object needs to change. Subsequently, all changes to support that new UI are located in one place. To put that in my own words, you create a page class for each separate page and the actions you do on that page you also put in there. For example, the search result could be a page in the page object model. And here you see it for you. So I searched for blouse and all the actions you can do specifically for this specific page, for example, sort by, that's an only one result, but you get the idea. Sort by could be uh, an action you do on this page or list view or grid view or uh, add to wish list or add to compare and all the, the things you do in this specific page you put in that uh, page model and don't worry i will show you an example and touch on this later so to quickly summarize about the approach you still have two roles and you have the business value and you also have setting up the test automation framework it's always a team effort Business value determines how thoroughly you test and the test automation framework can, you can split it up to make it more maintainable into page objects. All right, so about the page object model, let's say you have the script here and you have recorded that uh, using Playwright CodeGen and I've cleaned it up a little bit, but in principle, this is the script I also showed you in a demo. So net, now let's look at the uh, the page object model, the documentation. Uh, Playwright itself has a good page here. And actually it's quite simple uh, to comprehend because this is the new page. Uh, the page object model, uh, they put it in the models uh, folder and they create a search.py script. It's a class search page. And the init is also obligated to, to incorporate and you'll pass the page there and also self. So here you make it effective, self page equals the page, the page you pass in. And then the search term input, uh, that's basically the locator. And uh, that's the this one. So here, okay. And so I need to change this one. Okay, and then navigate. So I will put the this one in there because it's on the home page. If it's a separate page, then you should of course, change that URL. For me, it's on the home page, the search page, and then fill in, that will be uh, actually calling this one. So fill in the text you supply and then hitting enter. All right, so and this is the, the test. So what I'll do with you is just implement this, uh, this page object model for this. And then of course you can extend it the way you want. And as always, I will have the code uh, available in the repository linked in the description. So let's get to it. So in the Playwright Tests folder, so there's a couple of them in there, but uh, we will work just with this one, search for some address. 
Let's make the deer uh, models. CD into there. And then Vim on uh, search. Pi. All right. So this is the search pi page. And what you put in there, you can just copy paste this, of course, for now. Copy and paste. All right. So the search page, don't need to change this one. This also all the same. And let's just do the proper locator, the one I recorded. And this is uh, this one. So you see, it's n double quotes. Let's uh, leave it like this. Paste it in there, okay? And then navigate, I put the URL, correct URL in there. It's this one. I do have to say this demo page is quite slow. So beware if you want to use this exact one. Could be a little bit slow for you as well. But anyway, so the search, uh, here we have the locator for the search. I already did that, of course. So this can be the same and the same. So this is now done. Let's save. And let's also um, change this, this script to use that. So uh, as you can see in the example, so from model search import search page, I can just copy paste that, of course, but let's just type it from models but search import uh, search page which is the class name of course okay uh, this is, can leave the same leave the same and then page equals await so this is the same and the search page is search page and then the page so search is the local reference to that page search page and then a page in there all right and then await search page navigate and then uh, search to see control v and then i can just comment this out this one as well so everything uh, this is all done by the page object now and this there and then i was searching for the sum address Oops. Somewhere the rest. That's it. And this is one. Added this one. So the button uh, click. But it's basically clicking on that button to search. But should be okay when hitting an enter. But uh, if it's not, then we would just easily add it to this search uh, after this enter. If it doesn't work. But uh, that is the script. Uh, let's go back and then the pi test search for some address. Let's hit enter and see what happens. You can see it navigates to the URL, it enters it, and then done. All right. Um, but I think it didn't click search, so let's also do this one. Um, well, let's open it in this editor actually so models search and uh, let's uh, control v in there so if you just control c control v uh, then actually you need to add self here so self control s to save of course normally you would also do all the assertions and all the good stuff added in there There you go. So this is the way you set up um, a simple uh, page object model. And I think that concludes the demonstration. And that's it for another video. I hope you liked it and maybe learned something new. So like if you liked the video and subscribe if you loved it. So if you reach it all the way to the end, thanks a lot. It really means a lot to me. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.